Hello everyone. Did the lift it Obviously we say this is where I go. Lisa's positive news flashes and I thought like let's just turn it into a video. I tried to stream yard, it's letting me down all over the place. Please don't give up. Keep coming back. I'm gonna Google and duck duck go it all. I'm gonna search for really good platforms where I can invite people onto camera for music. So I'm gonna keep me my live feeds going through StreamYard. But I'm gonna be um in the in the background searching around for ways that I can get music involved in like another another platform basically all that jazz so let's get on with the news flash anyways um i've been searching it and researching it and my mind's getting dead positive from what i'm finding to be honest with you so <clears throat> i'm going to go through the new the, this hour's news flash and then i'm going to go through all the news that i found and then we'll have a little bit of a chat at the end <clears throat> So today's, this hour on the two o'clock did 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 is, right, okie dokie. Right, here we go. A father, a father and his children are spending their free time during the quarantine cleaning gravestones in the local area. Like, that's a place you can stay isolated and you're making a positive change. So, mm -hmm. how nice is that? He's, he's a dad and he's got his kids. Come on, kids, let's go and do some positive stuff. And he's gone to the cemetery with his kids and found... There's a picture on the internet where the gravestone was black and the kids scrubbed it and scrubbed it and they got it up proper and nice light like grey. So when the people go to see the grave... Obviously, I think they must have let them know they were doing it. But when they go, to, when they go down there to see the grave, they're like, whoa... So a father and his children spent their free time during the quarantine cleaning gravestones in their local cemetery. How nice is that? Just reading this out puts a smile on my face. Um, what else do they have? I've sort of gone over all my news this morning. So I'm going to uh, just click back on the things I found. Um, right, let's go to the top. Let's go to the top. You might have already heard some of this, but some people might not have as well because I've done my DJing thing. It's put a few people off watching. And I'm aware, I'm aware. Hello, Kate. Hello, everyone. Listen, if you're watching me live, right, and you're thinking that sounds a bit, but, but, little bit mishmash, stick with me because I'm searching around for better platforms I can go live on. That's what I'm doing. There's big YouTubers who do it and they invite people on camera and they're absolutely crystal clear. And that's what I'm aiming to get. Hello, Dawn. Hello, Kelly. I'm reading out Lisa's positive news flash. Did they lit they did? It's all that. <laughs> We're bouncing off the balls in here. I need to find I've got a little theme tune that I can play. That's not going to get me copyrighted or taken down. All my radio stations are getting taken down. Because they're like, no, 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 you can't do that. It's all that. But, anyways, here we go. So, the first news article of the day, guys, is more than 727. Thousands of people worldwide have recovered from coronavirus. So I'm not saying it's not a risk. I'm not saying run out and be all mad. It's a risk. I'm isolating, but people are surviving as well. That's the flip side of what you'll hear on the telly. If you want to hear the other side of that, go and watch the telly. Because I'm giving you the opposite news. The positive side, the positive spin on things. Then a uh, woman hands out sanitizer, vitamin C kits, blankets and food to help the homeless. So that's another positive thing. And as I'm saying all these positive things, the sun's starting to shine. Then we've got a grocery store catches a man stealing from their, their shop. And instead of ringing the police and getting him arrested, they realised he was in a desperate situation. They gave him a load of shopping and they sent him home. How nice is that? So that was that. Neighbourhood surprises a little girl with dog parade for her birthday. So because we're on isolation and people can't do much, we're quite limited to Hi Stewie! Quite limited to what we can do. So these have come up with an idea and they've got a dog parade to, to go past the house. I don't know what they've done with the dogs, but the dogs are there doing their thing. And obviously the little girl's like, oh my god. So it's one of them. Um Captain Tom Moore received over 25,000 Bertie cards in appreciation for and just being an amazing role model for everyone. Hello, loving positive news. Oh, thank you. Keep the encouragement going. It makes me carry on doing it. So that's that. Um, Captain Tom, 25,000 Bertie cards. 
I cry if I get one. So that's that, that's that in it. Captain mm. Tom, amazing. Um, Ohio's bald eagle population is soaring, soaring. The bald eagle population is growing. It's the growing. There's more. You're gonna be seeing them soon, sitting in your back garden, all that. Um, and then I, I, I follow on from that piece of news in. April the 25th, 2020, this was published yesterday or today, I don't know what day it is, or year, but yeah. Ohio wildlife officials have announced that the state's bald eagle population has soared by 151% since the last statewide count eight years ago. So there's nature. What, what more do you want? Here we go. Let's crack on. New Zealand claims that they have eliminated coronavirus. It is gone, banished, been sent home packing. So let's follow that, everyone. Um, for the second straight year, Iceland will not be hunting whales. So for two years on the run now, Iceland have faced up to the fact that they should not have been doing it. And they've put their hands in the air, we were wrong, and they've declined what they're doing. They're not killing um, or hunting whales anymore in Iceland. So that's a perfect example of what we're, what we're looking for. The positive things. If more people do this, it might inspire the media to do the same. Um, April the 28th, 2020, Iceland. Two whale ca companies will not be hunting whales this summer for the second straight year. So that is just magic to my ears amazing then the next piece of news is a family is yeah, i've already read that one I've, I've read that one captain tom as you see it, yeah twenty five thousand beauty cards so that's the positive news of the day i know we're searching for this news is lifting my mood up the sun's coming out life is good and i know some people are struggling and stuff like that I know it's hard and I know sometimes you people out there want to hear the other side of the news but I choose not to and there's no stations where people like me who don't listen to the news can listen to a radio without the news there's nothing out there so it's original isn't it it's original I'm gonna get a, a really good stream streaming platform where I can do this and make it grow I'm gonna put it on the YouTube I'm gonna have it on the Facebook I'm gonna have it on the Twitter the Instagram it's gonna go everywhere it's gonna go viral because um, there's loads of people who I know personally who don't listen to news because it's too depressing. Um, my mother showing myself on the laptop. Yeah, <laughs> looking good, looking good. <laughs> so topics: how to stay positive, guys. Come on, give me some feedback. Let's get some conversations going. Stuby, come on, you're bouncing around with ideas. Hello, Claire. Hello, Amanda. Hello, Molly. And Tell I want to mention Charity as yeah, well. Yeah, she was coming on later. So I want to point out as well while everyone's watching, if you've been watching my live feeds lately with the StreamYard thing, I am looking at it and I know there's problems there. So I'm working on that. I'm going to be getting a different platform where I can invite people in because I see big YouTubers and they have like people on the camera. It's all clear. So I know it's possible. This is the thing you've got to remember. Lisa, it's possible. So let's remember that. Captain Tom had a flyover by the Spitfire plane. Oh my God! Spitfire's went over his house. Oh, That was the small one. How that. cute! So how to stay positive, guys. How do you stay positive when you wake up in the morning and there's blah, 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 blah going on? How do you change your mood? Or does your mood stay like that? Or do you wake up positive? Let me know what your outlook is on your day. Nature, there's another subject I want to bring up. Do you know you wake up and you're feeling down, right? I've sat and I've watched wildlife programmes and you know them wildlife and, and the trees and the grass and the flowers, they don't wake up and go, nah, not today. They just carry on doing what they're doing. Like a tree will grow to its full potential. It won't go halfway and think, I can't be bothered today because I've got a few, a few brown leaves on me. No, it carries on growing and growing till it gets to its full potential. Yeah. Nothing stops it unless it gets chopped down mid-growth then that's out of its control. While our tree is in the ground, it's got roots, it will continue to grow. And that's what we need to be doing. Just look at the trees when you're walking down the streets and think, oh my God, yeah. And there's another thing as well, when you think there's so much negativity going on. When you think there's so much negativity going on in the world, right, you know what you need to do? Just when you're walking down the street, 
Just look for what's being put out there by human beings. One, traffic light drives are an absolute pain in the butt. I can't bear them. But they're the biggest reminder that somebody cared about safety. It's things like that, isn't it? Street lights. They put street lights in there so you can see, you, to see where you're going overnight. What else? The pavements on the floor. Someone created that idea because they knew we needed a smoother service to walk on. The roads were tarmacked so we could get our cars to go along. Cars were created with seat belts to keep us safe. It's things throughout your day. Now, if you listen to this, throughout your day when you're going out to the shops and anything like that, look for things that people have made to keep us safe and focus your mind on that. Honestly, because you can get so bogged down with what's going wrong and what's going on and people are dying and everyone's sick. No, think about them people. Send them a message. Let them know you care. Let them know you're listening and you're feeling for them. But keep yourself up so you can help them when they're ready to, to move, like, to try and... I don't know. You can reach out to them and let them sit and say to them, look, I feel for you, I do. But things will get better. That's what we need to be doing. Spreading the positive things. And I'm going to be doing this now every day. Maybe not on the hour, because the stream yard is going to be a little playlist in between. So that's sort of gone there for a minute. So I'm on the, I'm even, I'm, 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 I'll set the time. It'll probably be like 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock every day once. And I'm going to do a full news feed where you can listen to the positive things that I've researched and I've found there and then happening right now this won't be like from years ago or what's going on in the future this will be right here right now so if you're sitting there and you think hmm, put a wildlife program on and watch go on youtube and type in wildlife wild animal yeah, wild lions literally they have the cubs killed and they just have to crack on with the rest of the cubs they don't sit there and think whoa they'll grieve you see them grieving you see them grieving you see it that they feel everything that's going on animals ants a little fly on the wall it's got feelings believe it or not but they crack on they don't sit there going i can't be bothered today because they haven't got that mindset because we've got so many choices in our lives sometimes our mind makes the wrong choices so if you if you follow the law of the of nature and the law of that all the animals follow and the trees and the flowers and the grass you get a grain of grass it won't grow halfway and then stop it'll just carry on till it reaches its full length Everything's the same. You've just got to think. Just look at like type into YouTube wild lions and sit and watch. That's what I've done. Not recently, but I've done it in the past, and I'll I, I do it again every now and then. If I put that telly goes on, it doesn't go on normal telly, ITV and BBC. No, that goes on my telly, and I haven't watched telly for I don't know how long. If it goes on, it goes on YouTube. Every now and then, I watch a film on Netflix if I can find something. But if not, YouTube wildlife programs. And you just sit and you watch them, uh, like they will be an inspiration to you, honestly. And just learn by what they're doing, follow by their lead. They are showing us the way. Because we're human beings and we've got so many choices. Like I said before, sometimes our head goes off in the wrong direction. Look at where you're meant to be going. Look at what gets you excited. At the minute, I'm following my music. And that, for me, is like, a br like you're later on, I'm going to do a half an hour set through this Facebook Live. You're going to get a cl clear picture, clear sound. Because StreamYard's letting me down. So I'm going to do it live later, half an hour. That half an hour for me will give me a massive lift. That's my music and that's what it breathes the light back into me. Shuby knows, he's all over it. Amanda knows, she, she gets that feel, life back feeling through Astrid. Like your mum gets it through me. You're lifting your family up when they see you doing things. So don't sit there and feel like, I feel guilty. So I have felt guilty, I, was, I spoke about this in previous videos. But I know if my mood's up, yeah, if our Demi comes in here now, oh, I get everyone, positive news. That will lift her mood. She might be down. She might be down today. Do you know what I mean? But if your family sees you doing something, don't feel guilty about what you're doing. Just go and do it. And you'll see the change in them. You might get the old person who's a bit, whoa, whoa. Why is she so happy and I'm not? Well, then just blank that out. Blank that out. And focus your mind back on the positive people. That's what I do. People who are here now, Stewie, Stewie, Amanda, everyone else who's come in, like, People I've met through my life in general, like, yeah, you know, there's Molly, another one, a complete inspiration. She just does what she's doing. We made Kelly, there's Claire, Claire Cavani, a lovely person. Doesn't perform or nothing, but she's just got the personality of an angel. Um, who else is in? Just look around you at the things you've got going on and try and focus your mind on them. Kate Nelson, lovely person again, you know what I mean? I used to work with her in the resource. So it's just about that, isn't it? I've just come on today to release this positive news flash. I've read out all the positive news. There's loads of positive things going on in the world. But without getting that bogged down with 
what's going wrong, 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 and how safe we are, and what our family are doing. I've got issues going on. I, I don't know what's going on with my car. I don't know what's going on with my job. I don't know what my, my daughter's doing. It's, it's all that, like, literally, bam, bam, bam. I've got it all going on. Don't look at me and think, whoa, she's all right, because she's fine, her life's all perfect. It's, it's far from it. But you've got to learn to dig deep and carry on anyway. Take your passion and carry on growing with it. There's been times I've been on stage and I've been standing there singing, thinking I cannot be bothered with this today. And I've got off the stage and I've looked back at the video and I've felt embarrassed by what I've seen. But then there's other videos I've done and I've felt so proud. So you've got to roll with it. Sometimes it's going to be up, sometimes it's going to be down and that is life. Like the weather. Like the weather, isn't it? It'll rain, it'll snow, it'll be freezing, it'll be icy, but the sun has got to shine at some point. And this is what you've got to remember. So put your comments in, guys. I'm trying to get a bit of conversation here. It's not all about me. I want to hear your point of view on things. Stewie, StreamYard is only good with a USB mic. Right, good point. I didn't know that. Into your computer, we'll have to get one. I saw a video. Fab, Stewie, send me that link for the um, the video, the YouTube thing. Because I'm, I'm, oh, it's so frustrating. When I put my StreamYard on, I've got all these big ideas. And then I watch it back and the sound's a bit... Ooh. I mean, but then Ben comes on through Stream Yards and he sounds perfect. But I was like, what are you doing? I could do his arm, going down and looking at his situation. His Wi Fi, maybe his phone. There's a lot of things that come into it, a lot of factors that come into Stream Yards will work perfectly if you can get the right factors to come together. So that's that. But like Stream Yards, for example, that is at the minute, I want to. If Stream Yards was, was like a person, I'd probably throw them off a bridge. I was, oh, it's so frustrating. But again, I'm, like, I'm just researching it, putting it out there now. This Stu brings ideas, ideas to me. If you've got any ideas at all, talking about this and that, and someone mentioned before, music is life. Defo, definitely. Daily Louise Kate. I see your little post. You're, you you put loads of little positive things on, and I love watching it. Love to watch David Aston better. Yes. Oh, he's, he's he is. amazing, that He is man. amazing, but I found, I found the past like year or so watching him, he's talking about, like, how things are going wrong and it sort of spoils it so we should do like one just specifically on that you know what I mean and then one the way he used to do them but it's around. he's talking truth isn't he because things are, have been declining so he's talking truth but I've stopped watching his shows now because because of that and I'm trying to keep my mind positive so I just cut out the negatives bang gone negative conversations I'm not interested I go in lockdown obviously unless someone's upset that's a different story I'm not saying that I'm the ice queen because I'm not but I'm trying to keep my mind safe and I've learned to keep your mind safe. You've got to focus on what's going right. And there's the, a lot of people got down yeah. times today. Do you need lifting? Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're lifting everyone up. Lifting it's lifting you up. It's lifting me up. Because I have the days when I'm like, whoa, and all this and that. We all do it. We all have it. So that's what I've done today. Come on, dummy live here. Um, positive news flash. I'm going to be doing this once a day now. If it, I don't know how long it's going to be on for or what. It depends on who's coming in. You get a bit of a conversation going. I'll stay on a bit longer. Things like that. But Stewie, let us know what you're doing with your things. Post it everywhere. Everywhere I'm online. Stick it in the comments. People will see it. Because you are doing amazing things. You He's want... doing... It, well, it's charity. is outstanding. Yeah, amazing. It really is. Nailing and he's it. believing in it as Nailing well. Nailing it. My mum's also going to put together on her own um, profile a thank you thing for the NHS. Because they've helped... They've helped my brother when he had his um ep when he run over when he was little and he got his epilepsy. They helped him through that. They helped me. They've helped my daughter with a lung situation. My son's had issues with his with his back and you know what? There's a lot a lot of things to be thankful and grateful for. That's what you need to be doing. Focus on what what you're grateful for. And all I'm saying, my life's amazing twenty four seven because I have days where I think oh, I cannot be bothered. I, I have days where I actually stay in bed. So I'm not saying oh let's be happy all the time, everyone. It's 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 dead easy. It's not. I know it's not. You're sitting there, you're down. That's how it is. Sometimes you're having a down day, you've got to be down, not let yourself ride through it. Let yourself ride through it. I've done that for a couple of days sometimes, just sat in bed going, right, I'm not, I'm, I can't bother and I'm just going to stay in bed. But then there's other days you think, right, I'm up to day now, Lisa, come on, let's get, get it together. But even when you have down days, another thing I've found, an all little tip, set your alarm for a certain time every morning, at 7 o'clock, and get out of that bed whether you want to or not. Because you know if you make a decision to click snooze, if you click snooze on that alarm, that sets your whole day out then. You're doubting, subconsciously, you're doubting your choices all day. Set your alarm, 7 o'clock, jump out that bed at 7 o'clock and watch your day flow. That's one little tip. So yeah, I'm going to be doing another little thing on this, on the Hair and Beauty page, to do with um, mental health and all this and that. But I've got loads of how things to coming up. How to keep your children occupied. Yeah, how to keep, keep their kids minds occupied. Active. Keep your kids busy. Don't bog them down with schoolwork. I never went to school. I was never in school. 
Never. Literally, you ask my teachers, I'd be like, hi everyone, I'm late again. One of them. I'm not saying school's bad. Well, I do think it's bad, to be honest with you, because you know what school's about, don't you? Programming kids and all this and that. So that's that. Gypsy kids is as happy. You know what to say? You see any kids who live in caravan and they're bouncing around off the walls. Dead confident. Full, you know, you can you can tell a gypsy a gypsy child from a kid who's gone to, uh, gone to average school. But the personality stands out a mile. And that's because they've been allowed to be free. Free spirit. They're not getting programmed by this and programmed by that. The mind's able to grow in its own direction. Stewie's put on, we should do a charity event late in the year or next year together. Yes. Yes, well, Stewie. Yeah, you know, here's my mum for a bit. Stewie gave me an idea last night. I've had it in my head for God knows how long. But I've let everyone else shout de- blow their bugle about what they believe in, who they believe in and why. And Stewie's got an amazing charity right now that he's very much interested in. I admire him for a lot of things. One thing is passion. Two is belief in what he's saying. He struggles, don't we all? Well, I don't seem to, but yeah. You, you know, it's all about the confidence in what you're doing, what you're doing it for, who you're doing it for. I'm doing mine for a thank you to for my mum and she had um, many illnesses plus alzheimer's alzheimer's in a major way i did not know about that a lot of people didn't know about it they all seen people walk, walking around some in their underwear they didn't know why and as the years have developed scientists have developed the ways Alzheimer's and that's where that come from and this is what I want to thank them for for everything they helped my mum with before she died going further on to my son age 8 he got knocked down in King's East Avenue Highton he was in the gutter I, I thought these were all playing up to stay out a bit longer to make kids do I want to stay out, I want to play out. And I never let mine play out. Mine was always in the back garden. I was very secure with my family. And I, they was, I was the only playing out vicinity was the back garden or the front, no further. This one day, I allowed them all out together. Unbeknownst to me, Ryan put a coat over his head, running from one side of the street to the other. If anyone knows King's East Avenue, Liverpool 14, just put that in, in Google and you, it'll come up and you'll see the size of King's East Avenue. That's where I lived and he got knocked down by a gentleman that had his granddaughter at the back of his car and the woman that saw Ryan getting hit right up in the air thought it was a rag job till he landed and she realised it was Ryan and she come running over saying listen to the kids Bob that Ryan's on the floor he's just being it when she said that I just stopped everything looked and then instantly phoned the ambulance the, am- the ambulance took 20 minutes to arrive they had him 20 minutes on oxygen that was 40 minutes in total before he got to the hospital Coming back in years of Ryan's life, age two, he was on. He was very hyperactive, and they used to have this medicine to calm children down. And my, I had my five kids, and along with that, my friend called in with her five children. So that was ten children in my house. Hello, Jenna. Welcome in. Just like shout out some people coming in. Um, Nasty, Nasty, no, Nat Fozzie. Jamie Evans and Louise Newsham, welcome guys, we're having a positive hour, we're just going to talk about positive things, if you've got any positive things going on in your lives at the minute, let us know, my mum was explaining then about the NHS and what he's done. Um, it's going back to Ryan when he was age two, I told me mate, she had a track, one of five, that was very overactive like our Ryan was, didn't know what to do, her head was torn in bit, wondering who's to change to, how to go about it. I showed her this medicine, 
written the name of it on a note and give it to her and said to her, go your doctors, talk to them about this because it helps my son. The day went on into the evening, she had to go home. The medicine was left on the fireplace. Unbeknownst to me, my mind was sidetracked, getting all the meals done, getting the clothes all put in the washing machine to wash and dry for the next day going to school. I was then cooking out in the kitchen. Mark comes flying in. Mum, I don't know what Ryan's doing, but he's, he's on the floor with this mad noise and his eyes are at the back of his head. In other words, he'd gone into convulsion, which I didn't even know that, but as years have gone on, my brain's developed like everybody does with families. So then he was in the hospital for six weeks. Five weeks and then six weeks. He was going mad to come out and go to school. So the teacher ended up going into the ward to him and ended up with other kids that was in their bed. She was going round them, teaching them, as well as giving Ryan lessons that he wanted. Going further on. There's new people coming he, in to um, explain. There's new people coming in to explain. I'm talking about my son. And the NHS and what they've done for him. How much the NHS supported him, my mum, myself. Um, my, grand, my grandchildren and and some of my family as well but mainly ultimately was Ryan because he was my life he was my heart and soul he was the only one living with me in the end but he had a lumbar puncture at the age of two unsedated because of this medicine they were trying to find out where, where how it come to be what the name of it is and all of that what the symptoms are so they had to give him a lum lumbar puncture on sedated. And um, oh, in between all that, I had the other four kids to think about. And wonderfully, I had great neighbours back then. They looked after my children while I was running in and out of the hospital, checking on Ryan, which was all to hang. I had a son that done a walk for him out to Manchester in support of Alder A, the neurological nurses and doctors and all the auxiliary staff and he's done that and it was on Granada TV for a split second and then come off. Going further back to that, Ryan got knocked over again. He'd been knocked over about four times and on each occasion the hospital saved his life. Coming on to me now, I had a, uh, I used to be on a PC, computer, monitor, keyboard, all of that for a long time and a matter of weeks, six weeks solid without eating much, sleeping much, talking to people, my kids would come in. My PC was then in the bedroom. They knew there was no conversation going to go on. My conversation was looking after people on pal talk. Anybody had a problem or needed advice, I was giving it them, going off my own experience and letting them talk about theirs. Hence what this is all about now. Anyone that's got problems, they've got depression, they're stressed out, they've got family issues. Come on here and mention it. We let, do a bit of talking about you. Because it's not all about me, myself and I. It's all about the nation of people that's got problems. Coming on to Stewie's partner, Malcolm. He was fine, he was fit and healthy till he ended up in the hospital getting treatment on his foot. He had to have a big toe removed. It turned out to be the amputation of a leg below the knee. And he went through hell and high water because the doctors just didn't know what they were doing and when they were doing it because he had a lot of other issues as well, which put Malcolm through anxiety and he held it pretty strongly as well. She used to go in every night along with his papers and any information that he needed to be known. She used to relay it to, it to him. And I used to go in to let him see if there was someone else that was interested in him other than Stewie on his own. There was false promises everywhere, but not to blame the doctors, not to blame the nurses, not to blame the nurse helpers either. It was all that they didn't know what they were doing because it was up. They had to stick by the rules of what they were doing. 
and then they had to move to the house they're in now, which is a bungalow. It was a two or two down house they had before. Now they've got a bungalow, which they're very proud of, and they were looking to live a happy life there. He's had a few problems through his music. We've all had it. I've had it. Bear in mind, not as much, not as much as most people, because in my street they love music. I played it. We used to sing outside. Last door met was awesome. And because of the circumstance now, everyone's staying in. And rightfully so, clapping on a Thursday night. But what is getting me angry about it is, it's not doorstep clapping. It's outside the hospitals where people are looking for treatment, being treated and going through a lot of pain, stress and anxiety. Plus, underlining all of that, the panicking, because you know, you can feel it. It's coming to the last of them. Their relations are getting stressed out because they can't go and visit them. And it's not the nurse's fault, it's not the doctor's fault. It's nothing to do with the hospital. It's because the ever-loving minister that we have right now that is more out of action than in it. And always has a reason to step one side and not be in it. So this is why this virus got it all round countries because England knew about it, we were fully aware of it, but he, he done nothing the same way as he's doing now. So I'm going to pass this over now to Lisa and let her continue with what she's doing. Thank you for listening. Hello. Are we all right, guys? That was people's point of view on how the NHS have helped our family. They, they've done an amazing job, the NHS. They really have. Like, people... Like, there's so many different stories going about and in the past it's been the NHS is so bad and bad and this that at the end of the day people are on their nurses doing what they do I, I, I'm a support worker so I have to say so what you do I've, I've done little bits of, bits of this and a bit of that on an agency you, you get to do the whole thing without, without any university you're getting put into places you're not even prepared for so <coughs> the experiences and the, the thing the situation they're facing every day they need respect so this is the positive news hour, and I'm trying to get stories from people. Have you got any positive news at all? Why oh, yeah, are pe- see people coming in? I'm seeing you. Andrew Harford, Eve Donnelly. Hi, Andrew. Eve Donnelly, will you come on live? Hi, Eve Donnelly. I'll tell you what, we need to get in on live, because you do nothing but laugh. Honest to God, she needs to be a stand-up comedian. She is so... Uh, she's the funniest person I have ever met in my life. Eve Donnelly, anyone who knows her will know what I'm saying. You spend half an hour in her company, and your mood is up. She's the funniest person, honestly. So, Eve, if you want to come on live with me, let me know. We'll come on the stream yards and we'll do a bit of a stand-up thing. We'll just bounce off each other the way we do. Remember the good old days? We used to laugh at everything. Oh, she's so funny. Just seeing your name there just brightens my mood, honestly. It's just, you're amazing. Keep doing what you're doing, Gailey. I've not seen you for too long. I used to work with her in, um, in my very, very first support work job. And I remember, I, remember I, I, I used to be, I still am in some ways, quite a shy person. And she's so out there and comes out with the most random things. But I just loved her to death because she was so funny. She also helped me come a bit out the box. I step out of the um, the little shy person I was. She helped me in so many ways. So if you've got any stories, anyone who's watching, put your story in. Put it in the comments and I'll mention it on camera now while we're here. Here's our Demi. Hello. Demi, we're having a, a positive news flash hour. Everyone's been in. We've had Eve, Eve Donnelly in. Remember Eve's dead funny from resource. She's been in. Um, who else? Stewie's been in. Um, trying to think of people who you know. La la la. Kelly, Kelly, and me mates been in. Loads of people been in. So yeah, this is a positive news hour. Throw your comments in. And let's. And, and I'll read out your positive news right here now. On here. Let's go for it, guys. The positive news that I've had, right? It's because situation. It's been a bit of a weird one. I had to crash just before the isolation. So I was in the process of swapping over from my crash car into my new finance car and then all the companies locked down and I got given a KSC car for now. And I was thinking, oh, this is going to get taken off me now. I'm going to have no car. So the positive side of that is the uh, the company who lent me the car, I've managed to get uh, get it paid for by the third party, i.e. The, the guy who crashed into me. So he's paying for my car on KSC until the lockdown lifts and I can move on to what I'm going to do next. So that's my positive take on um, my negative situation, something good's come out of it. And also, it's taken off, it's taken the weight of the finance off my shoulders. I haven't got a big finance hanging over my head at this time. 
because I don't know at the end of this lockdown where I'm going to be going next. Because I've, I've stepped out of care work, I don't know if they're going to take me back. And that's the reality of it. I don't know if they're going to take me back on. I was on good wages just before the lockdown, and I don't know what situation I'm going to be in at the end of it, but I know I'm going to get a good wage in some way, because I believe that I'm going to, I believe I'm going places. I believe I can see my potential. I close my eyes and I can see my potential. I can see it. It's, it's out there. It's, I was born with it. We're all born with this God-given right to grow, progress and reach your potential. Like I'm saying earlier on, if you get your, you know, if you step outside your door and you're walking down the street and you feel a bit down, you look at them trees, they don't go halfway and then stop. They carry on until they reach that full potential. They will grow until they, they can't grow anymore. And you as a person should be doing the same thing. There's things that have held me back from growing. Say I was a tree. I, I, I put myself in the wrong ground I, in, in certain situations in my life, i.e. relationships. I've been, I've been in relationships that have stopped, stopped my growth. Then I've moved from relationships into a certain job situations that have stopped my growth. So agency for me was perfect because I could move from one, situ- from one workplace to another as and when I felt like I wasn't growing anymore. So I loved it and I asked, it's made me the person I am today because it, it's allowed me to grow. So if, when you're in the wrong job and you're stuck there with a contract, it's quite hard. But you can even grow in them situations. You've just got to learn to block your mind off from what, you, what you're not wanting and focus towards what you do want. So yeah, I've had loads of positive news. Captain Tom has had thousands of birthday cards. Um, the whale population in Ohio, they're, they're not hunting wild whales anymore. This, I've been reading a lot before on me, on me when I first come on. So when this is finished, if you look back, you'll be able to see the positive news. I'm going to be coming on, coming on now every single day. I'm going to set a time right now. Let's think what would be the best time to do the news flash every day. Let's say 12 o'clock, right? 12 o'clock every day right here. I'm going to be coming on and, and spilling out the positive news that I've researched that morning. So it's going to be fresh news that's coming on that I'll, I'll have researched that morning. So if anyone... Anyone at all sitting here now who's got any positive news, put it in the comments and I'll read it out. Come on, Demi, you must have some positive news. Something that's happened in your day-to-day, yesterday or within the past few weeks. Something positive that's come out of any situation, not just a lockdown. Anything anything that's positively happened to you that steered you away from the, where you were going and to where you need to be. Anything at all. Someone's got to have one piece of positive information. Just bang it in, I'll read it out. If it means you if you, you woke up today in a good mood, that's a start. If you woke up today in a bad mood and someone gave you a phone call and you picked your mood up, that's another positive piece of information, isn't it? Little things, it's just sometimes it's the little things, isn't it? Like me today, yeah, I've started this positive mood ring thing, haven't I? And I felt a bit like down. i you know, like I'm not saying I'm flying high all the time because I'm not. I am icky. But I, I went on uh, not Google, not Google, duck duck go. And I researched, I put in DuckDuckGo, positive news of today. And it brought up a whole list. And just reading through it, copying and pasting it into my notes to read out to use, lifted my mood. I bounced into the car, bounced into my mum's. She bounced into the car and we bounced back in here and I just bounced onto the camera. My mood was lifted. But it wasn't like that just before I started reading all that positive news. Not because I've been watching the other news, but I mean, the last time I watched po- the, the other average news everyone watches, was when Boris announced the lockdown and I weren't watching the news before the lockdown because I just gave up on, on that. So I'm going to start doing this. Lisa's positive news flash. Nikki, you must have some positive news. Come on, throw it my way. Throw it my way, Gailey, and I'll, I'll announce it for you. <laughs> positive news, guys. Someone put a little comment and I'll read it out. Or something that you'd want to discuss. be amazing. But, um... I've got a lot of, I've had quite a lot of little positive things that have happened since the lockdown. I'm finding myself again. That's another big one. Because I've been like working, I've loved my job and things like that. But like I have said, like the past year or so, I've felt myself re rooted in the wrong soil. So <clears throat> coming on the, the lockdown, bang, and I've come out of care work. Because obviously I didn't feel safe. I was going everywhere and I was risking, it was too much. My brain was like exploding. So I've come out of care work. And I'm I'm finding myself again. I'm me. This is this here now is completely me being myself. Not thinking about work. Not thinking about this. And I'm doing my music. I'm setting my projector up every day. And I'm thinking of new ways I can entertain people. So if you think of anything like that, that'd be amazing. So this is what I'm doing. I'm coming on today, getting it out there. I didn't expect to on this long, but there's loads of people watching. So I thought, well, I'll just stay on for a bit longer. But if anyone has got any positive news that's happened to you. 
yesterday, today, or what you're going to be doing in the future, let me know. Mention it. And then I'll, I'll read it out to you for you live now. Let's spread the vibes. There's loads of people coming in. Nikki, I haven't seen for too long. Or Demi, who's just a little GM anyway. Andrew Harford, Eve Donnelly, Muhammad. Muhammad's been in. That's my mum's friend. Michael Woodworth, I used to work, work with him. Um, Gemma Morley, Natty Foz. She's doing all kinds here. She's always doing, she's like doing keep fit and yoga. And every time I look on her page, I'm like, oh my God, you love it. And then we've got Stewie, he's another one. He's just everywhere doing fundraising and DJing and God knows what. Jamie Evans. Um, Daily Louise, she's, oh, I love her little statuses. I see them little positive statuses that come on every now and then. Do you know what I found myself doing as well? So if you get a like off me or a share, like that's that's a good thing because I've started snip clicking snooze on people. Like, I'm not saying if, if you read status and it brings me down that day, I'm going to put you on snooze. That doesn't happen like that. But if I continuously feel down by a certain person's status, I will click snooze. So that's another way you can do it. You don't have to block people to take them off your friends list. You can snooze them. I say snooze for 30 days. But you can unsnooze them as well. So then you, you're still staying friends. But while they're going through something that may, may be raising your anxiety at the minute, you can just put them on snooze. You know what I mean? Or you can inbox them, obviously, while they're on snooze. You're okay and everything like that. So you care. But I'm talking about how to keep your mind safe so you can stay up, keep your family up with you. Well, that's what we're doing today. A little bit of live feed, positive news. My laptop's gone off, otherwise I've been reading my news out again for years. But yeah, there's all kinds going on. Literally all kinds. Everyone's getting busy. The lockdown, we don't wear ending, to be honest with you. I, I feel like I'm on holiday. You know, you're on holiday and you've got no responsibilities. I feel like that. So I am, obviously, like I was saying, I worry and things like that. My life's not perfect. But on the flip side of that, I feel like, you know, you're on a holiday and you're, waiting, you're coming towards the end of it. It's a bit like that. When you start thinking, oh, I'm going to maybe sort myself out now. But at the minute, everything you're seeing is me being me. Me being me. But just it goes on, I'm putting fire and balloons and hearts on the wall, doing my live shows on my guitar. I've been trying stream yards out, which is a bit up and down, hit and miss. But I'm trying... You've got to keep, just keep coming back in. You'll see the pro progression. And also, if there's anyone out there who use uses live sh live sh um, live stream um, websites, downloads, apps. Let me know because I'm looking for one where I can invite people onto camera with me to do like an open mic where they're going to get a clear sound and vision. Because I look at YouTube at bloggers and I think, oh, how are they doing that? How do they like literally like just pulling the air out? How are they doing that? Let's see if I can see who's coming in. It doesn't show up on that phone, but sometimes it'll show on this one. No, it's not showing on this one either. So give it a little wave and I'll, I'll say hi. I'm not being rude. Sometimes I can see who's coming in. But yeah, so um, I'm just bang, bang, bang. My living room's full of cameras, projectors, guitars, speakers, PAs, amps, wires, headphones. It's like Spaghetti Junction in here. It is literally... Stewie, yeah, should we put a comment in of something positive that's happened to you yesterday, today, or what's going to happen? We know about your charity things, that's amazing. But like some little things I'm talking about, little things that lift your mood. Like I was researching before, positive news, that lifted my mood. Little tips that other people can use. Have you got tips that I can use? Because I'm, I'm like always pulling ideas out of the bag. Sometimes I go back to old ideas, I'd love something fresh. I get on my guitar, that lifts my mood. I'll go live, this lifts my mood, speaking to people. And seeing like sometimes just realise sometimes you're not the only one who feels like you're the only one. Because everyone when they're down, they think, why is it only me like this? When it's not the case, it's really not. We're all we're all struggle at different times. So someone put a comment in, let's say um, hear your positive news. I've had all kinds of stuff going on, ups and downs, all happening. All over the place. So um I, my dog at the minute can't go out, that's getting me a bit down, but I want maybe maybe next couple of days or weeks so start taking him out again. I'm terrified of him getting this virus because he's got um, chronic bronchitis. He's on steroid, steroid tablets for that. So on the flip side of that, I'm staying, spending loads of time with him. He's been work and I feel guilty like he's one of my kids and all that. I haven't got that no more. That's gone. I'm spending loads of time with my dog and it's nice. So yeah, that's that's a positive thing I can take out of it. He's not going for little walks but... Yeah, I'm going to be looking at changing that. Maybe take him out in the car and take him somewhere that's like derelict. I don't know, he's not going to get the virus. So that's that. We've got all kinds going on. 
I have also upgraded my Wi-Fi. So watch this space, guys. It's literally a couple of couple of pounds extra on top of the bill. So I'm, I'm gonna get power, more powerful live streams coming through as well. When I do these ones like this, it seems to look alright, but I know it can be a lot better. I've seen it. I know it's possible. I watch YouTube and I look at their videos and I've even commented on on the big YouTubers. How do you get that? And just, some get back to it, and it's amazing. I've had different advice. For the stream yards, I've got, I've got advice that you need to, um, some kind of box thing to go with it. I need to look back on that and maybe look into how much they are. But yeah, it's all going on. And also, I'm going to be offering as well, because I've done happy birthday messages for our Demi and my dad. And it's going to be a, loads of birthdays going on lately. So I've come up with an idea of... I'm going to be putting together, I do put a lot of work into these videos and the, the projects and all this and that. So I'm going to be putting a price list together. It'll go from a basic happy birthday on the guitar through the live stream onto someone's page. And then also there's, there's other packages where you can go up and up and up. So you can have like the background on them with the projector, projecting pictures on from when they were one up to 21 or whatever age they are. So it's that. But then as well, not just birthdays, it'll be anything at all. If you got if you had a funeral and you want to do a live stream onto, onto someone's wall, because that'll lift them. And I'll project pictures onto the back scenery. I've done that the other day, my dad's birthday. I put my brother's face on the wall behind me. So that was nice, my dad loved that. So there are my ideas, it's all going on. What are your ideas, guys? It's all in the camera you use to in your stream. It's all in the camera you use to in your stream. It's in my camera. I'm confused, Juby, come on. Cut me a bit of slack here. You know what I'm like? You gotta explain it properly. <laughs> I can see people coming in, coming out, coming in. Coming out and then coming back in. It's all in the camera you use in your stream. So it's all to do with the camera. If I could link a camera to my laptop and go through that, do you reckon that's possible, Stewie? That's a very good... Um, tell you what, that's possible. Wow. But I don't know, I think it's the, the laptop. When you stream it from your laptop, you try and stream to YouTube from your laptop and watch the quality you get. But when I look on YouTube at these big football, because my son's into football, and when he's watching, and I'm going to him, what, what, stream, what stream are they using there? And he's like, talking football talk. Doesn't realise, and his head's like, <laughs> twisted around trying to find um, solutions. But to keep my mind busy, keep your mind busy. Find what you love and love what you do is the thing. You've got to keep it going. Should we explain to me what you mean there? It's the camera you use in your stream. So, yeah, well, obviously, you want to go through the phone. It's a lot clearer. Well, tell him to come to the mic and explain it. You can't come on the phone, not on the stream yard. Mm. I know, that's what I mean with the phone. You can't invite people on with you. It's a little bit frustrating. So right, I'm gonna go. Show you send me a little inbox. Explain there what you more, what, more what you need even. Yeah. So I'm gonna come on, come on later on. Uh, we're gonna be doing the mic at half six as usual, but it's not gonna be for musicians as much now because I'm, I, I know I'm taking quality away from people by what it's not looking good on myself either. What I'm trying to do, I'm trying to put a professional thing across, and it's not coming across professional and it's all like glitchy and stop start and all that. So I'm gonna be doing that. So what I'm going to do tonight, from 6 till half 6, I'm going to do live acoustic straight off this page. And then I'm going to be turning this off and going straight on to StreamYard, then to invite people onto camera with me. That's what I'm going to be doing tonight. I'm going to be trying that. That's a new plan. So come and watch the antics unfold. If it all works out, brilliant. If it doesn't, you'll see me sitting there like a headless chicken, and that will just be funny to watch. So that's what we're doing there. So if you're doing nothing later on, let me know and check in. Come on camera, say hi. It's okay. I mean, you need a powerful camera or powerful camera in your in your phone. I know, Stu, the phone's perfect, but when I go through the laptop, you know the StreamYard? When I try and go through StreamYard, it's glitchy. It stop start. The sound is like up and down. I don't know. But then sometimes you go through your um, Facebook, you get the same effect from your speakers. When you play your guitar, but no, not, not plugged in, perfect. But if you want to put speakers in, you've got to be careful where you're putting them. You've got to turn them away from the camera. It's all messing. But I'm going to do that later anyway. I'm going to do a live tonight just from my page, not through StreamYard. Because I'm coming on all the glitchy and stuff and then it's just not looking good, is it? So I'm going to do that. And then um, obviously it's going to be open then for everyone to come on with me. That'll be fantastic. Let's get some new faces in. Anyone, just come on. 
You see the link, click it. You don't have to be a performer at all. You come on, hi Lisa, what are you doing? Say hi, promote your own business. If you, you make cakes or if you do crocheting or if you take pictures or if you've got a business up and coming, you move in house, whatever you're doing, come and tell us. There's somewhere you can talk. It's open mic, open, lock the mic. Once you click that link and you're on camera, you're locked on with me. No one's interrupting you, free speech, talk, say things. No one's jumping in on you and all, not, not that. You get, it's time for you to talk. And I listen. I just stay up, boom. And then I'll see when you answer. So, you know, it's your time to shine. You can't perform. Just come on anyway. Just come on. Do you think? We've had rappers on. We've had poets. Tonight, actually. I've got a new poet coming on tonight. First time, Stewie. Thank you for the little thumbs up. Tonight, Stewie, I've got a, new, a brand new poet coming on. He's never been on before. I've never met him. But um, he's been on my friends list for a while. He's, he's comments and likes and I've shared his little bits and bobs. So he's going to come on tonight and do um, the poem um, set. So that's that, that's happening tonight. That's fresh and new. Carly was saying, actually, she was going to come on today to the news thing. So I'm going to try and bring her on tonight. Carly, amazing. We see you see her performing. If I can get her music to come through, clear. I hope to God I can. But um, yeah, so I'm going to go, guys. Have a good one. This is Lisa's Positive News Flash and I'll be back on tomorrow at one o'clock. See you soon.